Let's Play World. We're going to talk about heating up PETG plastic, PETG plastic. <laughs> and um, similarly to other clear plastics like acrylic, you're going to need quite a lot of power to thermal or to heat this up. You can do this in the oven. Uh, however, I save that for stuff like uh, vacuum forming because you'll have relatively little uh, time to work with it and not as much dexterity as I prefer when I'm doing things by hand. Uh, you're going to need a good powerful heat gun for this. Uh, you can possibly get some small work done with some of the $20 uh, heat guns, but having the option to get a larger area of the plastic heated up and being able to keep moving and having a more <laughs> a wider area to work with and keeping up that a higher temperature is going to be beneficial for things that are larger than a square foot that you're looking to shape. However, you can overheat it. Absolutely do not just stick the head of the heat gun directly on the plastic. If you do that, bubbles, gas bubbles will form within the plastic. And unless you're looking to make something like the brother sword from uh, Final Fantasy X with the little bubbles on the inside, it doesn't look good. It looks like this weird white fungusy finish. So you definitely want to be able to pull away and get a lower, you don't want to hit it too hard. And with clear uh, plastics, any kind of blemish is absolutely visible uh, because of course it's clear. Um, you do want the option to have, uh, to have that higher power, but be careful. I hope this helps you guys. Good times to all. Rah!